sorry about the wind noise as you can see we right off the highway but uh today we got the uh 2020 hyundai palisade i think i'm saying that right palisade and palisade i don't know the sound the same uh it's the sel and this one is the front wheel drive model now i know a couple of y'all told me to check this vehicle out they just got them in stock so they're relatively a new vehicle. I, I don't think I've seen, I think I probably, you know what, I have seen one. I think it was like a pearl white color and it was a very nice vehicle. I know Kia has uh, the Telluride. They supposed to be like the same vehicle, just different, you know, different brands. But I mean, Kia, Hyundai, they all owned by the same person. So Palisade right there on the back, very nice. As you can see, it kind of looks like a, um, Kia tell you right as well with the lights in the back so it has you know same same body style as it as well too from the side actually it kind of looked like the uh a ford explorer on the side like this window area right here that's just me at least that's what i think it looks like but uh nonetheless it's a nice nice family suv third row very beautiful and um I'm not, um, I'm not gonna keep y'all waiting too much longer because we are outside and it is cold right here in this wind. It does have a remote start. As you can see, it just started up, it's really quiet. I'm not gonna give y'all an exhaust note just because this is not that type of vehicle and the vehicle just started up for the first time right here. But uh, what we are gonna do is hop into some analytics real quick. <laughs> so, I'm gonna show you all that. Y'all can decipher that, go through all of that. But I'm trying to hurry up and get in the car because I'm I'm freezing. <laughs> and um, you got the 3.8 liter GDI V6 engine with the idle stop and go. 291 horsepower, 262 foot pounds of torque. Get all of that good stuff. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all of that good stuff. And the price is $40,650 on this one. 19 city, 26 highway. So that's not bad at all. Especially uh, with this size of a vehicle and you're getting the third row as well too to haul your family around. So that's not bad at all in my opinion. So let's go ahead and uh, hop in here real quick guys. Cause like I said, my hands are frozen right now. You got blind spot detection, all of that good stuff. All the safety features, the new safety features and everything, they come standard on all Hyundai and Kia vehicles. You guys know that that includes like blind spot, uh, lane keep, all of that stuff. That stuff comes standard. All right, let's shut it off. We turn it back on now. And we're gonna take a look at the headlights and uh, look underneath the hood as well too. I don't know if I said the horsepower, I'm gonna say it again though. But uh, you're getting 291 horsepower and 262 foot-pounds of torque. So let's take a look at those headlights real quick because it, it is a nice looking vehicle. Kind of looks like almost a luxury vehicle when you look at it. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Hyundai's grills and everything. But this one, I actually, it's kind of decent with this vehicle. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Very nice and spacious underneath the hood. We're gonna have to slam this one. I see. There we go. Try to let it down gentle. You got the LED uh, turn signals in the mirror right here. LED tail lights as well too. Let's go ahead and pop this tailgate, whatever you guys want to call it. And you do have a third row in here as well too, as you can see. And they are powered, you know, you can let down the second row from here too and the third row. You just hit it one time and it does all the rest. I'm not going to let them down right now just because I actually got to sit in the third row. I'll show you guys this one right here though. So to let it down, you just hit it one time like I said and it folds everything down. It knocks the headrest down and it just folds down. Quick and easy. And then to let it up, you just hit it one time and it lets it up. Now, for the second row right there, it only goes down. You have to manually let it back up. So let's go ahead and let that back up. And bam, voila. First aid kit. 
storage cover I mean cargo cover a little storage down there with the little cargo net as well hit that button closes that down simple as that and I'm not playing with y'all <laughs> look at all the smoke coming out it's cold out here <laughs> like I said it's it's in my last video it's 50 degrees but it's windy like you, you see how it looks out here it's cloudy and gloomy feels like it's probably in the 40s or something like that but uh on the door right here you got the vinyl it's, it's kind of soft touch you got some little pattern right here soft touch material right here as well stitched plastic down here got the speakers now i'm surprised these aren't the infinity speakers but nonetheless it looks nice got the child safety lock memory seats right here seat controls right there you got the gray leather seats they're perforated and stitched let's go ahead and hop in here nice solid thump to the door now actually this vehicle looks very nice on the inside like i'm curious to see like if they had a more fully loaded model like does this change if this was like wood like a real wood look to to it or something like that and if the dashboard was stitched and everything that'll look real luxurious <laughs> my word luxurious um <laughs> <laughs> but you got the paddle shifters right here too i mean it's very nice it feels good in here it feels like a big vehicle as well um nice screen right here as i said you got the apple carplay and android auto you can download different apps and stuff you know once you set it up and everything very nice you got your rear climate controls right here you can turn those on from here very nice this one is more much more fluid than the um, Santa Fe I just did but very nice right here you got a little digital layout right there too you can check your fuel economy comfort mode that's what we're in right now you got different drive modes as well I'm trying to figure out where that knob is at uh, let's see I'm looking for it guys we'll, we'll find it in a minute i'm pretty sure there it is right there i knew it was a knob it's right down here so we're in comfort now we're in uh sport you got comfort eco and smart so you got four different modes in here so and we put in a sport it turns the gauges red a little bit down there and in the center bam very nice um this is your shifter right here you got actual buttons this time around so you just put your foot on a brake and then you just put it in drive like that and then reverse and that's your rear view camera nice and crisp and clear and then put it in neutral and then you put it in park just like that simple and when you actually put it in reverse your mirrors actually move down so you can see the ground a little bit more as well too and it actually right here it's pretty cool you got all your seat belts it tells you who's not belted who's not you know who who doesn't have a seat belt on so Everybody better buckle up or you're going to know who don't have a seatbelt on. You got heated seats right here, heated steering wheel. This is a very nice layout. Like, I like this. Like, it's easy. It's in a arm's reach away. Not even arm reach, fingertips. Right here. You right here. Man. Dual climate control, rear climate, all of that stuff. You push this. And it opens that up. And then you got the cup holders that pop open with the push of a button. And he just slide them back to close them. <laughs> My slow self. It's got the arrows on it. And I'm still trying to turn it that way. Anyways guys. You got the wireless charging mat down there too. It's charging my phone currently. You got the little charging light right there. To let you know that it's on. close that back up USB and a 12 volt charger a lot of room in there the dash isn't soft touch but it has that material look that's why I said if it's a more fully loaded version I haven't saw too many of these my guy Larry in the inside actually hit me up and told me that they had one of these in there so thanks again Larry um, but yeah I haven't seen a more fully loaded one yet I, I would love to check one out to see if there's any difference or anything like that but uh, you got your, all your typical books and everything in your glove box. Let's go ahead and get in the back seat real quick. I already showed you guys the key fob if I haven't already. 
My bad, there it is right there. Remote start, like I said. And honestly, this is a bargain as well too. Just because a third row vehicle, let's see you try to get a Tahoe or a Suburban or something like that with a third row, even the Expedition or something like that. You're gonna be paying well over 60, 70 grand. Well, not even six, 70. I see. My thing is nobody wants a, a basic, a basic model vehicle. Nobody wants that. So you got the sunshade right here. So that's why I try to round it up. Cause nobody, you want to have some sort of features in your vehicle. You don't want just a base model vehicle. Same materials on this back door. That's on the front door. You got the double cup holders right here. Double cup holders over there, and that door as well too. Got the storage pocket on the back of the seat. Very nice seats. They are bolstered up nicely. You know, feel good. Nice little, you know, nice little touches. Cup holders right there too. So let's get a recount of how many cup holders you have back here. So you got three right here in just one door. <laughs> then you got three in that door over there. So that's six. Then you got two more right here. That's eight cup holders <laughs> that you have back here. Also on the front, I just saw a little something that I didn't see until now guys so let me take it back up to the front real quick so you got this little pass through right here like minivans be having you got the 12 volt and then you got the usb and then a little pocket down there where you can sit stuff in there too and also you got the touch sensors on the driver door and the passenger side door let's go ahead and get in here real quick now you don't have a panoramic roof on this one but you got the sunroof Um, I was gonna say where your vents at. I forget your vents are up here in the ceiling. You can turn turn them on and off right here. It's got the little on and off symbols, whatnot. <clears throat> it looks like those are supposed to light up, but I guess it doesn't. You got the LED light right there. Very nice. Climate control back here, heated seats back here as well. 12 volt charger, 115 volt. We call that the wall charger right there very nice you got usbs on back of the both seats right here so you got one two three usbs back here not, that's not a usb my fault you got one two 12 volt and then a wall charger so it's a, it's a lot of juice going on for everybody who needs to charge up their their devices and now i'm stuck back here because it has the child safety lock on wow okay <laughs> Now, how am I going to get up out of here? Hopefully this one. Oh, all I got to do is reach over here. It has an electronic child lock. So you just hit that button right there and you out just like that. Voila. So, like I said, to fold the seat down, what you're going to do is this right here, guys. So you can either hit that button right there or you can fold it all the way down with that and it lets this whole thing down. But we don't need that down right now because we're going to actually get in the back seat real quick. So leg room is pretty good now this seat is slightly forward so i'm gonna actually get over here on this side it's forward just by like five or six inches maybe so let's go ahead and get over here on this side show you guys my leg room is good head room is it's good it's not the greatest it could be but it's good so i'm back here chilling you got the usb right there usb over there two cup holders right there two cup holders over here so it's a very nice vehicle as well now if you if you're over my height i'm five seven five eight so if you over that that height your knees are going to touch because my knees are touching right now but i'm comfortable like i can chill but don't don't I mean, you can go on a road trip, but don't sit here and try to, you know, you, you're going to have to do some type of, unless you move this seat up. That's what I'm saying. If you can move this seat up, you're good. But if you got this seat like this, yeah, you're going to be kind of cramped a little bit. But don't try to sit a six-foot bohemian back here. It's not going to happen. Let's go ahead and move that forward. I like that. It just slides forward. And uh, let's get on up out of there. Then we're going to push this back just like that. Very nice vehicle, SUV, truck, whatever you guys want to call it. Very nice. Let's go ahead and turn that off. The Palisade, I like that. But uh, blind spot detection in the door as well. I mean, in the mirror. If you guys can see, there it is. But um, 
Yeah, guys, let me pick up my backpack. Oh, let me turn those headlights off too. <laughs> That's why it was probably beeping. But uh, yeah, guys, if you like this video, give it a like. Make sure you go ahead and follow me on all social medias. Get the newest of newest updates and everything that's going on. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I'm gone. <laughs>